we interrupt your normal broadcasting for a special live update. We made an update of how the pool plays went in the FIVB tournament. We got a lot of good feedback, so we thought, why not? We're gonna finish off with how the finals ended up. So starting off with the women's side, we have the only women's team that made it into the semis. So we have Brooke Sweat and Summer Ross. And they played Fernanda Alves and Barbara Saitzas. I can't say her last name, so I'll just say Barbara S. The ninth seed in the tournament. And Brooke and Summer lost the first set, came back in the set, second set, and then lost the third 21-19. And usually you only go to 15 points. So when over time, the match lasted an hour and 15 minutes. So it was a nail bite. Brooke and Summer lost the semifinal, but they got the playoff for third. And in third, they played the Germany team, Victoria Benek and Isabel Schneider, the 24th seed. And they ended up decisively beating them 2-0. So Brooke and Summer won the bronze medal for the U.S. in the FIVB Fort Lauderdale. To start off with the men's, we have John Hayden and Theo Brunner, who played off against the Brazil team of Pedro Solberg and George Wanderlei. They ended up losing in the third set, 15-13, but it was a grueling match. Pedro and George, one of Brazil's teams, they came out of the qualifier, which is a grueling experience to go through. But fortunately, we have our on-site reporter, Triborn, to give us a more in-depth story of what it was like for them to come out of the qualifier, as well as explain what the country quota is. So Tri, we take it to you. The funny story there is that Pedro and George actually came out of the qualifier here and ended up getting fourth in this event. But Pedro actually, Pedro and George getting this fourth place um, will move them up significantly in the Brazilians race for their rankings. But they are all headed to Doha this weekend. And if Pedro and George decide to go, these points don't count. So even though they got a fourth place this week, they'll actually be back in the country country quota if enough Brazilian teams show up and then if not then they'll actually be in the qualifier again. Some people ask what the country quota is and the country quota is exactly what it sounds like. Each country has a quota of teams. You're only allowed to have four teams in each event so you can have three in the main draw and your fourth team has to play in the qualifier. Uh, if there's five teams that enter then the t two teams that are in the qualifier have to go play in a country quota the day before to fight for that one spot in the qualifier. So it's complicated, but uh, it's certainly tough if your country's really good at volleyball, which Brazil is, and so is the US. Thank you, Tri, for that story as well as explanation, because I really didn't even know what the country quota was until this past year. Moving on to the men's semifinal, because we still have a US team in the tournament. So for the men's semifinal, we have the number one seed, Phil Dillhauser and Nick Lucena playing against Alexandra Samoylovs and Yanis Shemidis from Latvia, who were seeded overall 12th in the tournament. And Nick and Phil played unbelievably well. They beat them 2-0. I think Phil had over 10 blocks in that match, so congratulations to you. And moving on to the finals. If you can't tell, this is an international competition. and. It wouldn't be an international broadcast like we're giving you guys right now without our international Italian correspondent, Riley Mikibin, who is going to tell you, give you an update on the Italian semifinal as well as the FIVB finals. So, Riley, we take it to you. Oh, grazie, fratello mio. Ciao, ragazzi. In la semifinale, miei amici italiani. Daniele Lupo e Paolo Nicola hanno giocato contro la quarta squadra di Brasil, Pedro Solberg e Giorgio Vandrowe, la squadra che ha sorpreso tutto il mondo in questo torneo perché sono venuti dal qualificatore. La semifinale era veramente una battaglia bella, ragazzi. Guarda, il primo set c'erano 5 set point. Ma cinque, ti rendi il conto? E finalmente che finisce con un attacco forte da Nicolai a finire il set 24 a 22. Il secondo set 
la stessa storia ragazzi ma questa volta con 6 set point 4 per Italia e 2 per Brasil che finisce ancora con una bomba da Nicolai loro entrano la finale contro gli americani The Thin Beast Phil Dalhauser e Nick Il Quick Lucena l'unica squadra che non ha ancora perso neanche un set Phil e Nick ha cominciato a tutto fuoco finendo il primo set veloce veloce 21 a 12 il secondo set era un po' più competitivo ma con il muro gigante di Dalhauser e la difesa incredibile di Nick gli italiani hanno provato hanno spinto ma gli americani che giocavano in casa loro hanno vinto il primo evento di 5 stelle FVB di 2018 Torniamo a te, Madison. Ciao, ragazzi. Thank you, Riley McKibben, for that riveting recap of the semis and final. So here, we thank you for tuning in. I, I hope you enjoyed this recap, and we look forward to sharing more with you. So, ciao.